Hey, I'm Juan Esteban Garcia, and in this video, I will be showing you how to use the WhatsApp Business API, the cloud version, to send files. So that basically means that you will learn how to send images or videos or documents or audio files. And on top of that, I will also show you how to do this in your preferred programming language. So if you are a PHP developer or if you are a JavaScript developer, Ruby, Python developer, then I will show you how to do this in your preferred programming language using Postman. Now, I do want to say before we get started that this video is intended for developers or for software programmers. And if you are not a developer and you are instead looking how to implement this WhatsApp Business API in your business to drive sales or to reach out to customers, then take a look at the comment section because I left a comment that will be very useful for you. Okay, now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, in order to get started, I'm going to head to the developers.facebook.com website and I'm going to go to my apps. And by the way, I do want you to know that this is something that I covered in previous videos. So if you, this is the first video of this series that you are watching and you don't know how to create your app and you don't know how to get an API key or you haven't used Postman before, then I encourage you to watch specifically the video that is called how to send and receive text messages using WhatsApp API is part of the same playlist you're watching at the moment. And so in that video, I cover and elaborate on all of those topics. And for this video, I will simply assume that you already understand what we are talking about here. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to open here Postman. And as you can see, if you remember in, in the previous videos, we were talking about how to send bulk WhatsApp messages or also called WhatsApp broadcasts and here if I go here to my app you will see that here in getting started well here I have uh, my temporary access token and by the way it is possible to generate a permanent token this is something that I will be covering in a future video but at least for now I just want you to know that you do not have to use always a temporary access token because as you know it expires every 24 hours and so that basically forces you to to generate a new one every day now um and now that we're here i'm going to let me actually refresh it and i'm going to copy it and if i come here to postman well you will notice that here there's something that says version and also phone number id and these are basically variables environment variables that i'm using to make my life easier because I don't want to have to type the phone number every single time that I'm, that I'm making a request. So I'm going to go here to environments and you see that this one is uh, set as active. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to paste my user access token, this is the new one. And I'm also going to grab the recipient phone number. As you can see, I already have here the phone number that I want to use uh, for this video. And uh, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to come back here to the collections tab and I'm going to duplicate this existing request and I'm actually going to change it. Let's call it a send file. And I'm going to put cloud. I'm going actually to move it here to this folder. I don't want this to be part of this subfolder that I have here. And what I am going to do is I'm going to get rid of all this text that you're seeing here. And by the way, you see that, uh, that we're using here recipient phone number, but I'll be using this in a moment. And I wanted to remember, this is something that we discussed in previous videos, but if you're going to start a conversation with someone, then you have to use a message template first. It's not possible for you to send a random message because WhatsApp I mean, if, if, if someone sends you a message, if one of your customers of your users send you a message, then that's fine. They can send whatever you want. But if you as the business are the one initiating the conversation, then you must absolutely use a WhatsApp template because they want to be able to make sure that you actually uh, are sending uh, something that they approve. So that's the whole reason why they made you do that. So in this case, it doesn't really matter what kind of template I'm going to use. This is something that that I already uh, uh, discussed in previous videos again. So for this one, I'm going to use the, the Hello World template. I'm going to click here where it says Beautify. And uh, 
for the recipient phone number i'm going to use a an environment variable i'm going to put here recipient phone number and it's as simple as that so as you know i already have here my phone number and if i hit send let's see what happens it does work and you see that yeah it says here hello war welcome and congratulations so why am i doing that i'm only doing it because i need to type a text message first i need to answer this conversation in order to be able to uh, receive uh, to send any other text message so i'm going to say something like hey thank you oh my god this is the hello world template sorry i'm being silly but anyways uh, what i was going to say is that now that we have here these messages then we basically just got approval to send any type of message because now that they reply to our conversation then we have the ability to send whatever we want to so now that we have that what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here to the documentation and now reference messages okay good and now that we are here let's actually come here to where it says example text messages so as you can see they do give you different examples that you can use in my case i'm simply going to grab this one so this is something that you can send that you can use to send just a regular text message but in my case as you know we're here because we're going to send a file uh, that's what you're here for and i'm not going to let you down i promise you that now i'm going to get rid of this i'm going to put here phone number this we get rid of this text object and the first thing that we need to change is the type as you know we're going to send an image and in order to do that we need to use image and also we need to open here another section uh, for image and i'm going to use link oh sorry and, I, and here i need to put the actual url of the image that i'm going to send so how can we do this i have here a local image you see that it's called thumbnail and this is actually the image of one of my previous videos and i'm going to come here to imgur new post and by the way you can use any other service that you like it doesn't really make any difference but in my case i'm going to use this one because this is one that i'm very familiar with and what i'm going to do is right click on the image and click where it says open image in new tab and you see that here is the actual url of the jpeg file so what i am going to do is i'm going to put here the link good and now let's give this a try what happens if i hit send okay it seems like i got a successful response and also you can see that here's our image excellent so you now know how to send images using whatsapp api let's talk now about other different types of files because as you know there are documents and audio and also videos so now let's try to do the same process but in this case we're actually going to send a pdf file so how do you do this well it's pretty simple let me actually start by by finding a random pdf file so let's use something like document yeah it doesn't really make any difference so you see that that this is a document of the u.s government by the way so if you're interested in 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 checking your employment eligibility verification then this is the document that you have to use <laughs> just and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this link and I'm going to change the file type. It will be actually a document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this URL here and let's give this a try. What happened? So you see that it does work, excellent. You see that it's a very small file. And uh, one thing that I don't like about this is that it says untitled. I mean, it would be ideal if it, if it can actually show you the file name and fortunately, their API does give us a way for us to customize the file name. So as you can see here, it says file name, and this is something that you can use when you are specifically sending a document media. Okay, so if you're using images or audio or something like that, then this is not gonna work. And I'm going to put here, um, 
USCIS uh, form I9. It's a little bit like this, dot PDF. Okay. So if I hit send, voila, you see that it does work. And it now shows the uh, document name that we decided to use. So as you can see, this is super, super simple. And again, I'm not going to do this uh, the same process with audio or with video because as you can see, this is actually pretty simple. And also you can refer to the API documentation if you want to elaborate on this topic. But essentially, if I were to send an audio file, then this is the way I would do it. I'll have to get rid of this. And if I were to send a, a video, it's the same process, okay? One thing that I do want you to know is that WhatsApp has uh, some uh, supported media file types. So here, if you're going to send an audio, it has to be a, a AAC or it has to be an MP4 or MPEG or AMR. It, it cannot be, for example, an OGG file. And also the same applies to documents. You can send a, a plain text document, a PDF, a Word document, a spreadsheet, all sorts of things images, uh, JPEG, PNG, and also videos, MP4 and 3GP. Okay, so I do want you to keep that in mind. And as you can see, there are also some size limits. So keep that in mind before you start sending documents. Uh, if you don't want to, to get an error when you send these files. Okay, this is good stuff. Now we know how to send files using WhatsApp API. We know how to send images, all sorts of media types. But as I promised you in the beginning of the video, I'm also going to show you how to use your favorite programming language to send these kind of files and to send this kind of request. So one thing that I really, really love about Postman is that it saves you a lot of work. So as you can see, we are making our request here. But in case you didn't know, they also give you an option to generate the code for you in your favorite programming language. And I mean, this is super cool because as you can see, it does support curl, it does support Java or C uh, or Node.js, PHP, R, Ruby, all sorts of cool things. And in my case, uh, what I want to show you is, well, you see that, that initially let's actually start with a, a simple core request. Okay, so let me actually clear here my shell. And if I make a request, you see that it basically does the same thing. All right, so I just noticed that I didn't get my text message, but the reason was that since I was making changes to this, let me actually put this the way it was, document and document. Now, if I grab this again and put it here, you see that it does work. It says untitled, so this is fine. It wor it's working just fine. Okay, so what do we wanna do now? Let's actually try to do this using PHP. And again, you can use your favorite programming language. In my case, I'm going to do it very simple and I'm simply going to use PHP curl and I'm going to grab this code right here. I'm going to come back here to Postman. And with this code, I'm going to open here Visual Studio Code. I'm going to grab this and as you can see, I have a clear clean folder here. I'm going to create a file called WhatsApp app, no, WhatsApp.php. And if I paste this, you see that it basically does all the work for me. I don't have to do anything. It already grabs the phone number, the ID, also the, the recipient phone number, the file, everything. So this is super cool. And if I try this, for example, using PHP, WhatsApp.php, then you see that I just received a text message and it's this one right here on title. Excellent. Now, what if I want to, if I want to actually do this instead of running a, a running it here in the command line, I'm actually going to use a PHP server. So if I do this, for example, and I go back to the browser and I go to localhost, 8001 whatsapp.php you see that it does the same thing but now we're able to do it from our browser excellent and again this is the exact same process that you have to follow 
uh, for any other languages. So if you're using, for example, Node.js and you are and you want to make an Axios uh, request, then this is the way you do it. And same with Python, with Shell, etc. So as you can see, it does save us a lot of work. And this is one of the reasons why I really love Postman because it makes my life so much easier. Okay, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. As I promise you, you now know how to send WhatsApp messages that also include attachments such as images, video files, audio files, and documents. If you enjoyed this content and if you enjoyed this video, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also to hit on the bell icon so that you get notifications every time that I upload a new video about this new WhatsApp business API. Thank you so much and until the next video.